Hello, how are you doing? Happy Friday. So very quick uh, video message for you today. And in case you don't know who I am, if we've just recently connected, I'm Marie Fleming Grant and I'm founder of The Awake Revolution. And I am basically here to help you drop the baggage, wake up to who you really are, truly, and revolutionize how you think, feel and create. So in the middle of everything that's been going on this week. So you may have had a great week, you may have had a bit more of a challenging week, lots of energies, lots of emotions coming up. I want to remind you of connecting to your vision. So for some of you, you will already have that kind of great, amazing vision for your life, what you're doing right now to help yourself create that, step more into that. And maybe some of you have come away from that vision. Um, and sometimes, you know, we've got these great big goals when we're younger or when we're kids even. And somewhere along the, the way, life gets hold of us and you start to move further away from what it was that you wanted to create. So I just want to remind you now of the importance of even in the middle of the bullshit. So even though at the moment, wherever you are in the world and I'm here in the UK, um, it looks like we're in the middle of a whole bunch of crap, right? Like restrictions and issues and all sorts of things um, coming in. But this is the time to actually connect to your vision because we are in this new age now. And the, the most exciting thing, I've really felt this today, was that what we've got to do is in the middle of all the dark and all the crap, we've got to hold on to this light, hold on to this vision because we are moving towards the most exciting era we've ever had in humanity's history so once we get through all of this stuff this necessary stuff it's going to look you know bad it's going to look like the dark's coming up it's louder it's shouting at you it's really in your face but once we go through that we're going to move into a very very new way of doing things a very new way of being, a new way of living. And there's so much scope for creativity because we're gonna, the way I see it, we're gonna have to, humanity, we're gonna have to heal more. We're gonna have to undo all the bullshit we've had on this planet for a really, really long time. We're gonna have to move into new ways. You know, it's almost like the wrecking ball, I said this in the video like a year ago, the wrecking ball's coming in, demolishing the entire building. So we're left with the rubble. So we're gonna have to rebuild and recreate and, and kind of move towards new things. So this is the perfect time, no matter what it looks like out there, for you to really connect in to your vision. And the reason I'm talking about it is because your vision is gonna look different to somebody else's vision. We might overlap, we might have similar things going on, but your vision for your life is not there just because you've imagined it. It isn't there niggling away at you in the middle of the night or in between, you know, in, in sort of in the cracks of the other things you're doing. It's there because you're supposed to be living, breathing, thinking, creating in a very unique way specific to you. So I am all about really, really um, helping people really cut through the, the bullshit of what gets in the way. Because the way I see it is like, I don't care what your circumstances are, it doesn't matter. And that's going to be, some of you are going to totally understand that and feel that as I say that. Some of you might listen to that and that might be very triggering because your mind's going to go, yeah, but you don't understand. Yeah, but I'm in this situation. I'm not saying that you have to ignore, you know, you've got your responsibilities and whatever's going on in your world right now, that you have to pretend that's not happening and set 20 goals and, you know, feel happy and, you know, fluffy every day. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Go deeper than that. Connect into your vision. Even if you, you can't do the things you want to do right now, the importance of getting your mindset clicked into that, your heart and your soul connected into that is the most powerful, energetic thing you can be doing right now. And that is part of the creation. So I've just had like this, um, I had this great conversation just now um, today with my husband, Michael, and we were, you know, we, we talk about this a lot anyway, but we really got into this conversation and suddenly I started to, click into some of the other visions I had beyond what I'm doing now and even though I, lo I love what I do now but I'm very very uh, visionary I've got lots of I have really big goals and dreams and plans and things for my life so it's not going to just stop at you know what I'm doing now and I got really really reconnected into it and it was just such a great feeling um, so I'm inviting you to just almost like give yourself permission to daydream to think about it um, to to visualize it you see it in your mind's eye like what 
do you want for your life? Because I tell you, we are moving out of this bullshit energy now of you doing a nine to five job that you don't like, or you're in a relationship that you're just suffering or struggling with because you think that's that's your only option, um, you know, or you're stuck in a bubble of old memories or past things or false beliefs about yourself that you think that you can't do certain things or you know you're just you're back and forth all the time or nothing really lifts off for you because you just you're stuck whatever it is whatever the recipe is for you I just want to invite you just to step outside of that for a moment even just for a few moments today and reconnect and ask yourself if you were really being honest with yourself if you were really honest with yourself what would you be doing right now? I'm not saying you've got to take action now, but what would you be working towards? What is the vision that you want for your life? Where do you want to be 10 years from now? You know, do you want to be where you are right now? You know, you, you might do, you might love where you are right now, it, but even so you're going to be somewhere else in 10 years because you're going to expand. But what do you want for your life? Do you want to wake up in 10 years still in the same crappy bullshit that you've created so far or do you want to be somewhere else so it's just like a permission slip really right now that if you desire something else it is not your imagination it is not you're making it up and you're just being ridiculous your visions your desires your dreams your secret things maybe you don't even tell anybody that you really wish that you had they are there because they're meant for you to have them. We don't all have the, exactly the same list of things that we desire. It's very unique to us. So this is just a real kind of cut through the noise message today just to ask you to think about what it is. What do you really want in your life? What is it? Because number one step is what do you want? And if you don't know what you want, find out why don't you know what you want? It's because you've not given yourself any time. You've not given yourself any attention. You haven't given yourself five seconds to really step back from the noise of the outside world, your responsibilities every day, your kids, if you've got them, your dogs, your your whatever it is, you still owe it to yourself to just spend 10 minutes, five minutes to just ask yourself, what do you want? Look yourself in the mirror. What do you want from your life? What do you want? Because you get to create what it is that you want. This isn't dreamland, well, in a way. This isn't a dreamland where, you know, you it's all the pretense that you, you know, you just have to have what you're given. Because I tell you, if I'd have settled for things that were just there in my reality, I'd dread to think where I'd have been right now. You know, example, health. If I'd have listened to the doctors that said, here, take some antidepressants, have a bit of counselling, this is your lot, you're just going to be ill like this maybe for the rest of your life. Um, you know, and I was getting into the stage where I might have needed a wheelchair to move around because like, my body was failing me. If I'd have listened to that, I don't know where I'd have been now. I, I don't know whether I'd still be here. I don't know what state I'd be in. I, I feel like there's like a parallel version of me out there living this horrible existence because I didn't have the awareness to step back and go, what do I want to create? You know, I did the same in various parts of my life. Right. So are you going to just take the reality for what it is? bullshit or are you going to realize that you are a creator being this isn't some spiritual woo woo like stuff that doesn't mean anything this actually means you're a creator being that is why you came here it's like you've got a menu in front of you your job is just to choose what you want from the menu and then obviously take steps for that to happen but what most people are doing is that you know they've got a menu like here and they're going Oh no, I, I can't look at that. And then you're being told, yeah, no, here's the menu here. What do you, what do you want? And you're saying, oh no, there is no menu. Bullshit. There's a menu here. What do you want? Write it down. Ask yourself what it is because you get to create it. So if this is something that you are, you understand and you want to dive into more or you already do this and you just want to go even further. I have, um, I've just launched, you might have seen my post, uh, the Awake Revolution Academy. And really why I love it so much is because we're going to, I'm going to take you through these five ingredients, these five pieces to really help you not just talk and think about your vision, really create it for yourself. So I am so much into not settling, not going along with the masses, not going along with the crowd and just doing the things and staying in your little tiny box because that's what you're supposed to do. I'm all about breaking free of that. That is my absolute passion. I think I came into this planet with that 
already knowing, I knew that we were not here to stay in this tiny little box. And what's happening in the world is a massive reflection of that. This is our time to start stepping out, creating what we really want to create, being who we really are deep, deep down beyond the bullshit personas that we've all created for ourselves somewhere along the line. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put the link somewhere above um, so you can check that out. Um, I'm opening it on Monday, so not far. Um, and we're going to dive into all these areas, soul alignment, who you really are, all the mindset stuff, reprogramming your beliefs, your thoughts, your patterns, really shifting that properly, looking at all the emotional stuff that gets in the way, the past stuff, so you can drop the baggage travel light so it doesn't stop you all the time you're not backwards and forwards the whole time um how to kickstart your new habits your routines the action the actual what do you need to be doing day to day week to week in a way that suits you and your life where you are not somebody else's recipe and then how to elevate yourself how to continuously elevate your energy your vibration your frequency because everything we do comes from our energy and if you're just following the strategy and the blueprints of certain courses and programs and things you are missing a whole massive piece so i'm gonna show you how to put these five ingredients together it's what it's what i've done in my life over and over so i continue to do even on the areas i'm stuck with i apply this all the time and I, i've set up this membership um, to help you monthly really work through these pieces anyway i'll put the link there so check that out um, if you're interested because we're gonna i'm gonna start on monday um, but I want you to think about your vision. This is the time. This is the time. It doesn't matter what is happening politically, what it looks like. All of it's fake. It's all an illusion. We are in a movie. We really genuinely are. Um, so what movie do you want to be in? Do you want to be in a horror movie? And a bullshit, depressing movie? Or do you want to be in a movie that's like fun, exciting, dynamic, vibrant, full of love, full of creativity, full of energy, full of hope, full of vision? all the good stuff, right? Because it's all available to you. It's all available to all of us. It's just whether we're tapping into it or not. So enough of this doom and gloom bullshit, right? Yes, we're going through difficult times. I'm not trivializing that in any way, but this is the time to step into your vision and actually start bringing it in. The world is requiring more of you right now. If you're still with me and you're still listening, you know this, you already know this, you can feel that call, can't you? That you need to go deeper, there's something more that's being required of you. Your old life is sort of over there. You know that we're moving into this very, very new energy. It's very tumultuous right now. That's okay, we're going through it, but we're moving into this new era. So this is all about the vision, 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 vision. What the hell do you want in your life? You don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to know all the steps, but what is it that you want? Do you want a better relationship? Do you want a better job? Do you want to do work that is meaningful to you? Do you want to change your where you live? Do you want to, you know, make moves in your business? Do you want to create something? Do you want to bring something brand new into the world? A book, a program, a business? Like, what do you want? All of these things are available. Do you want more love in your life? Do you want to change your relationships? What do you want? Do you want to learn more about yourself? What is it that you want? Because everything is available to you. So that's the end of my message. That's all I want to say. Check out the link if you're interested in um, joining me through this year, because I am going to be putting my energy into this uh, academy because it is time. It's such an important time to be alive. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it together. So I'm going to create a a membership group of people, like-minded people, we're all working on our thing, might be different things, different areas of life, um, it doesn't matter because the ingredients are all the same, it doesn't matter, whatever your goal is, the ingredients all are the same, all right, so check that out if you're interested, I wish you lots of love, um, switch off your news, switch off your media, um, stop buying into the bullshit, it's just bullshit, it's not real, we're gonna, we're gonna find out a lot more, um, this year. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing because I know, I actually know. Um, I know that it isn't what we see, what, what it looks like. All right. So we're going to be okay. So, but switch off from that shit because it does bring your vibration down. Even if you're watching it and you know it's bullshit, you're still plugging into it. So try and just step back from it if you can. Um, focus where you need to focus right now. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, good luck and have a good, lovely rest of the day. Happy Friday and have a lovely weekend. Talk to you soon.